Today's video was brought to you by Technically Not a Technician, and in today's video we'll talk about the classic arcade game Forgotten Worlds. The 29th century is the time period in Forgotten Worlds when the evil god Bios appears. Bios has largely destroyed Earth and replaced it with the desolate wasteland known as the Dust World. To defeat Bios and the eight evil gods he serves, the people create two unnamed super soldiers. Up to two players can participate in a single game of Forgotten Worlds. A flying soldier with bulky muscles and an endless supply of ammo is controlled by the player. The character of player 1 has access to a long-range automatic rifle, while the character of player 2 has a short-range wide shot. The controls in the original coin-op version consist of a special rotating button known as the roll switch and an eight-way joystick for moving the character while they are flying through the air. Pressing the switch activates the player's character's gun while rotating it left or right to change his or her aim in one of 16 directions. This enables the player to move their character around while maintaining a single point of aim. Rapidly pressing the switch will cause the character to launch a Mega Crush attack that will kill all enemies visible on the screen but deplete some of their vitality gauge. Every time the player fires their gun, a satellite module that is nearby and orbits around him will provide backup firepower. The roll switch can also be used to rotate the satellite, just like the main character. While rotating the character while firing only rotates the satellite's aim, rotating the character while not firing also moves the satellite's relative position in relation to the player. In the course of the game, the player can acquire blues any coins by defeating enemies. When purchasing new power-up items from shops positioned at specific points in each stage, Zenny is used as payment. When a player enters an item shop, they have a limited amount of time to choose any item they want to buy from the selection that is offered. The majority of these items are new weapons for the satellite module, but there are also health kits, armor that allows the player to take more damage, and even advice on how to deal with the boss that awaits at the end of the current stage. There are nine stages in Forgotten Worlds, each with a unique boss. If the player's vitality gauge empties, they lose but are given another chance. The game took two years to develop, costing $5 million, $12 million in 2023, in production costs and requiring 4 megabytes of sprite data. Yoshiki Okamoto wanted to create a game with more creativity than the original version, which was a typical side-scrolling shooter. After hearing complaints about how challenging it was to avoid enemy projectiles in earlier games, Capcom made an effort to make the game more accessible during development. Capcom attempted to fully utilize the CPS-1 software capabilities since this was the first game to use the system. Due to the abundance of shooter games available at the time of the game's release, sales were below expectations, and costs rose as a result of a shortage of chips for the CPS-1 boards. In conclusion, this game's title says it all. Forgotten Worlds is a forgotten game, and it's a great game at that. If you've never played it, break out MAME and give it a try. The combination of movement, aim, and trying to dodge bullets and bad guys makes this game a fun challenge. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it informative. If you did, I ask that you help me save the world from the YouTube algorithm by making a comment, liking this video, hitting that notifications button, and if you haven't, please subscribe. Thank you.